Pack a bag as we show you another travel destination on Long Island. It's been a bed and breakfast now for about 30 years. I bought it from people that were already running it as a bed and breakfast. Basically, I made a list like they tell you in the self-help books, which was, what do you want to do? What do you not want to do? What do you need to do? And one of the things I wanted to work from home and no more commute. And what did I like to do? I like to entertain at home. I like to cook. I love to garden. And basically when I came up, when I put all that on my list, um, that was, Owning a bed and breakfast seemed to work. In 1897, a Dr. Roosh from New Jersey bought the house and all the land for a, a summer home for his family. And then in the 20s, um, they sold off all the lots along the inlet to other doctors from New Jersey and they made a kind of doctor community. And there are actually two doctor families still here from th that period in the, year, in the 1920s. This house was built in the mid-1800s by a gentleman farmer and he must have been quite a gentleman because if you look at the house, this is not a farmhouse. It's got floor to ceiling windows, um, it's got luxurious uh, dimensions, 10 foot ceilings in the living room, uh, an amazing moldings and character and a lot of expense in creating in building this house. There are five bedrooms and the style, I would say, is eclectic mix of what I've collected over the last 40 years. I'm a bit of a pack rat. So, and, but there are things I like. There are things I had in my home, I've always had in my home. They weren't collected for here. They were things I had that I used. Um, there are a couple of small things that I did buy specifically for this house that I needed. But otherwise, it's just stuff I had. When Dr. Roosh, Roosh's descendants sold off all the property, they kept a path to the private beach on Long Island Sound, which is about 30 feet wide, and that's the path and the beach are mine. Plus, um, on the Long Island Sound, I, I manage the rental of the house next to it, so we have a nice big stretch of beach there. And then he kept a path to the inlet at the back, at the rear of my house, just down the lane, um, which also has a fabulous beach great for kayaking, you know, the waters there are much more gentle, you don't get the winds and the, the surf there, like you might get on the sand in, a, in the bad weather. And then Greenport, you can catch the ferry to, to Shelter Island, uh, and then you just drive across Shelter Island, get the South Ferry to Sack Harbour, and you're in the Hamptons, so it's a, it's a really fabulous location. Plus, I'm 13 minutes from the Orient Point Ferry, so I get a lot of visitors from Connecticut, Boston, it's a... Uh, it's a really terrific location. Well, gardening is a national pastime. I, I grew up in England. And my uncle was living with us at the time, and he grew up in the country with my mother and his brothers and sisters. And he started to create a garden right there in the middle of this field that we were in. And I watched him, and I was five years old, and I was just incredibly impressed by how he did that, how he turned this big patch of mud into this fabulous, um, productive, beautiful, little pocket of land. This happens to be the deposit of a glacier. It's end moraine and it's basically all the topsoil that was scraped off while this glacier was coming down from Canada and dropped off and that's what formed Long Island. Um, the two forks. I think this one was formed about 10,000 years ago. The South Fork is a bit older but it's an amazing deposit of fertile loam so things grow really well here. A few years ago I was walking on the beach with my son and we came across this rock that was the shape of a heart and it was so remarkable that we started then looking for them and started a collection and I kept, kept it in a bowl, I keep it in a bowl in my living room. And then guests would come and they'd see the hearts and they'd 
think, oh, I'm going to go look for one. And there's something about my beach. It's full of rocks in the shape of hearts. So now they've made their own collection and they've piled them up every day and they sign them and put the date they were here. 50% of my guests are return visitors and another 25 are referrals, at least. I think having waterfront and a private beach is, there's no, there isn't another one that has that on the Long Island sand, especially, and there's definitely doesn't want, there's not one that has two beaches on two bodies of water. I just love my job.